Welcome to Wake Up Auburn. I am Charles C. Nicrelli. Thank you so much for joining us on this beautiful Wednesday morning straight from Samford Lawn. We are going to jump into some news with Liam. Good morning, Auburn. This is the news. It's been confirmed by officials that 59 people have died and over 500 have been injured during a shooting during an adjacent Aldean country music concert in Las Vegas, Nevada. The massacre is the deadliest in U.S. history and occurred on Sunday night. Police say that gunman Stephen Paddock killed himself after firing off hundreds of shots from the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay Hotel. Over 10 rifles were found in Paddock's room. Meanwhile, back home in Auburn, a Sydney ordinance that restricts the number of people unrelated living in a house together could leave many people without places to live. In one of these districts lived five senior girls who were served an eviction notice last month. One of the girls' parents built in our owners of the house that is within the area designated for single-family homes. The girls have lived there for two years and have started a change.org campaign to petition to continue living in their house. The campaign has over 9,000 signatures and dozens of comments offering support for the girls. The girls have hired lawyers and have a court date set for October 17th. Keynote speakers for Auburn's Critical Conversation Speakers Series are former President Bush's daughters, Barbara Pierce Bush and Jenna Bush Hager. Pierce and Hager Bush will be speaking on the diverse perspectives of women leaders by discussing their personal philanthropies surrounding their individual successes. All right, guys, so that's the news. We're going to be right back in a second. So I just moved in with this family and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay. I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this for his sake. Today is actually Student Government Association's heyday. So if you don't know, that's actually one of Auburn's longest traditions. It dates back to World War II, and it's when um, the student body wanted to promote a more friendly campus. So they started putting on uh, name tag kiosks on the concourse and encouraging students, alumni, and faculty to write their name on the name tag and give each other a friendly hello. And of course, I think there's always day. free food yes. involved for anyone who does attend Hay Day. I know I went last year and it was quite the time. Right. And of course, you get to meet a lot of really neat people. Just make sure they know how to spell your name right on the name tag. I had that issue last year, oh, so warning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. It's a good way to make new friends too as like a freshman. Mm -hmm. It's Absolutely. an easy way to get to know some of your student body. Like free food will get me anywhere in a heartbeat. I mean. <laughs> Doesn't take much around no, here. No, no, not at all. The life of a college kid. Yeah. So happy heyday. Yeah, happy heyday. All right, so in the meantime, uh, MTV is bringing back a show called Total Request Live. It was the show where they did like these music video countdowns in Times Square. It was previously hosted by, um, let's see, Carson Daly and uh, featured the likes of like Snoop Dogg, Kelly Clarkson. They'd have all these musical guests on, but. Um, you know, MTV's been struggling with their ratings lately because, you know, they, they don't show music anymore or, like, any really quality content. Um, so, and their demographic is, like, switched to the internet because, you know, you, like, all the music videos and stuff are on YouTube and, I guess, Instagram now, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So they're trying to bring that back, trying to rope people back in to see if they can save, um, you know, the sinking ship. So, I mean, what does that mean to y'all? Like, do you guys watch MTV? I was past that generation yeah, of I MTV. Think we all kind of so I never got into it, but yeah. even if... No, no, even if it were music videos, I just don't know that I would yeah, be interested uh, anyway. Yeah. They're apparently trying to, like, rope people in, uh, you know, our age by, like, bringing in YouTube stars. But, I mean, they're not big names that I've heard of. It's like the, the Dolan Twins, if you've heard of them, Gigi. Uh, oh, Gigi Hadid. Gigi no. Gorgeous. No, <laughs> wrong Gigi. I have heard of her, though. Oh, she's, really? She's beautiful. <laughs> I haven't heard of her. She's but, a beauty guru. Oh, okay. I mean, does, yeah. that, does that make, are any of these people qualified to like talk about music? Exactly. Like, I think that's what confuses no. me. Maybe. This, like, this I don't know. Seems... Maybe they have a background we don't know about. Maybe. You know? In music. I don't know. This maybe that's the problem with MTV. Yeah. This, this seems like a bit of like a desperate, like, I, I can imagine a bunch of like old, like bored people, you know, like getting in a room together and being like, what are the kids into these days? <laughs> YouTube stars. And like, I don't know. Oh I think I'm they're not. trying to bring back their glory days. 
and I don't know. Yeah, I don't want to knock MTV. Is it still going to be in like Times Square? With, like, I the cool believe background? so. Yes. Did y'all ever see that? It was like no. they used to do it in a studio in Times Square, so you could like see the cars going by and stuff. So like I remember that, but I don't remember the show like content. Huh. I mean, like that's nifty. That's I mean, cool. Times Square is cool. It's always fun to look at. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be enough to draw me back in, oh. though. Well, I can tell you a show that will draw us all back in because it's only been off the air for a year. I think American Idol is doing a reboot already. Who would have ever thought it would come this soon? I thought they would have at least waited 10 years, yeah. but they have a whole new panel of judges. Maybe that was their plot to just get rid of all the judges. So they said we're going to cancel the show and yeah. then start from scratch. Yeah. But they've got quite the combination this year. They are bringing on Katy Perry, who I think is a huge name in music. Yeah. Lionel Richie, that's a different spin. And then Luke Bryan. Who would have expected that one? So we've got a representation of all the genres and I'm excited, but I just, I, I feel like they should have ended it. Yeah. Where, where they left it. I honestly think the voice is a little bit more relevant now mm -hmm. only because like it came on and it almost defeated American Idol. Replaced it. So yeah. like I think those fans are going to stay loyal to the voice and then American Idol is going to come back and I don't know if they're going to see the ratings that they want. Exactly. Yeah no I, I think it's been gone long enough well not really gone long enough but the point is the voice I think functionally like it, it fills the void that American Idol left Exactly. Um, we don't need two shows that are essentially the exact same. But you know, um, The Voice's ratings are dropping. Really? Tremendously. Because really? they premiered about a week ago, and if I remember correctly, it's the lowest they've ever seen. <gasps> really? Wow, maybe maybe it's the end of singing competitions? For a little while, I'd For say. Yeah. I think America's gotten burned out on it. Yeah. I mean, we have one after another, exactly. and let's give it a break and then bring yeah. it back. I, I mean, mean, yeah, that's just been a huge deal since, like, I remember when I was in elementary school. I mean, yeah. it's it's been around for a long, long time. Yeah. So I can tell you, I will be watching American Idol only because they're bringing back Ryan Seacrest. And well, I may be engaged, but you're my man. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all we have for you in entertainment news. We'll be right back after this. Gosh, Darlene, it sure is amazing how much we have in common. I know, Larry. We both love three-car pileups. We both were built in Buffalo. And we both know wearing safety belts help save thousands of lives. Yeah, this is fascinating. Don't mind Vince. He's getting over a bad break. I know. Janet's picking up the pieces, too. They're in here. I wish they understood it's all worth it to get people to buckle up. Hey, lacerated lovebirds. I sense a major crush. You could learn a lot from a dummy. Buckle your safety belt. Talk about head over heels. to wake up Auburn as you know we love to celebrate national holidays on this show and today happens to be national taco day so Americans actually love the Mexican dish last year we ate over 4.5 billion tacos as a nation so that is pretty astounding and in celebration Taco Bell is actually handing out five dollar taco boxes today for all of their customers to celebrate so what do you guys think? Are you big taco fans? Taco Duh. Tuesday? Oh, yes. absolutely. I mean, it's Wednesday, Wednesday. but nonetheless, yeah. that is no excuse to not eat a taco. Yeah. I, although right? I, I think I'm more of a burrito fan, but I would hit up the $5 taco box. That's all I'm saying. Absolutely. I don't discriminate. I, I like tacos, burritos. I mean, it's kind of the same concept and I mean, I love them. I love them a lot. I like, think we, I think we go back to that I'm whole, right? And I think we go back to that whole, we're broke college kids uh, conversation yes. and there's something about Mexican food. It's delicious and cheap. It's so Absolutely. Cheap. Yeah. I'm not a big like fast food person, but I mean, I've got a soft spot for Taco Bell. Like, You're not a good fast portion food of person, Will. Are you American? Like. Maybe. I, I think so. I mean, uh, well, uh, it, to the sort of like, yeah, like I like Taco Bell I, and like a yeah. good portion of any paycheck I've ever received has gone towards Taco Bell. So I think at heart that proves answer. that I am, there's an American somewhere deep down inside of me. You just have yeah. better taste buds than the rest of us. It's okay. It's fine. I don't feel judged or anything. <laughs> so stay tuned because our friend Kate is actually going to make some tacos for us. 
This is a place where it only takes a second to imagine your future. Grasp a new concept in class. Inspire a child's curiosity. Discover a real world solution. Seize an unexpected opportunity. There goes Davis. This is where you gain the preparation, confidence, and determination to succeed. This is Auburn. Y'all need to come on down to Sausarita's in Foy Food Court, which is located in Foy Hall for y'all's National Taco Day, which is today. I'm so excited, probably my favorite holiday, not gonna lie. So from 10 to three, come on in, pop in after class, no matter what you need to do, you don't have to hop in your car. And that's what we all like to do. Come on down for your tacos, cause today we have a fresh little beef taco. It has lettuce, tomato, cheese. It looks delicious. I cannot wait to dig in. So I'm going to toss it back to y'all so I can take a few bites. Gosh, Darlene, it sure is amazing how much we have in common. I know, Larry. We both love three-car pileups. We both were built in Buffalo. And we both know wearing safety belts help save thousands of lives. Yeah, this is fascinating. Don't mind Vince. He's getting over a bad breakup. I know. Janet's picking up the pieces, too. They're in here. I wish they understood it's all worth it to get people to buckle up. Hey, lacerated lovebirds. I sense a major crush. You could learn a lot from a dummy. Buckle your safety belt. Talk about head over heels. And welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about what's viral right now. Uh, we're going to be honoring former uh, Auburn student uh, quarterback and uh, Carolina Panther quarterback Cam Newton. So this past Sunday while playing against uh, the England Patriots, Newton became the four first quarterback in NFL history to rush 50 career touchdowns, which that's pretty freaking impressive, yeah. Um, so where Cam made history is what he did after the game. So he's sort of got these like trademark glasses that he wears after the game, which that, that's kind of his deal. Um, the Panthers quarterback was sporting his usual uh, eclectic style for the post-game press conference, and his outfit has sort of inspired a few, like, you know, uh, good memes. Cam Newton's aesthetic is Willy Wonka's chief financial officer on Casual Friday, according to one person. Uh, another person on Twitter said, Cam Newton turned up in a cosplay outfit for the villains from Raiders of the Lost Ark at his press conference. Classic stuff. I really appreciated Christy's comment before she told us that he looked like who? Willy Wonka. He honestly he does. His glasses, the he's quite the fashionista, so I appreciate that about him. Yeah. I really think that takes like guts to go in front of a press conference and wear these like <laughs> crazy styles, so I love that. But you know, the darker glasses, the round, his suit was like a little purple. I'm like, yeah, he looked like Willy Wonka. It's a little ridiculous, but like I, I can respect it. I yeah, like it. I think it takes courage. Absolutely. I think it takes a special person yeah. to pull that off because even though none of us would ever be caught dead wearing anything like it, somehow mm -hmm. Cam makes it look good, Yeah. which I think I is just Cam in general. He makes yeah. our school look good. Yeah. So, you know, we miss you. Yeah. Uh, not to brag, but I did get a selfie with him with, like freshman year. No oh kidding. my gosh. It, Come on, honestly, Chrissy. it. I go look at it frequently. I, it's just <laughs> one of hanging above your bed. <laughs> it's my prime moment so oh, far. Like in life. <laughs> that smile. I can't blame you. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all we have for you today on Wake Up Auburn. Thank you so much for joining us. We will be back with you next Wednesday right here on Sanford Lawn. Until then, enjoy the rest of your week. So I just moved in with this family, and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that. 
That's disgusting. Oh, I'll poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this, for his sake.